Hello everyone, I'm Vikrant and again I'm here back with you guys with a new video in which we are going to learn something, you know, what you guys use in everyday life, okay? So here in this video, I have brought you something interesting, okay? What is that? Let's see. So here I have five common phobias, okay? Five very common phobias that you guys use in your everyday life, okay? So here, as you guys can see, you fear of darkness you know there are a lot of people in the world those who fear darkness and it's a very common thing okay and so many of you you know you might not have traveled in a plane maybe till now so you might be you know in this fear also next we have needles or pointed object just like knife okay and all the injections all that kind of all that sort of things you know so next we have fear of thunder and lightning what is thunder and lightning what happens when it rains outside okay so that is what we are talking about here next we have fear of dogs it's a very common phobia and you know most of the people like a lot of people has it okay just like me you know i'm i'm, I'm actually having this phobia you know like a fear of dogs i'm so afraid of dogs you know like one of my friend is having a dog and i just do not prefer going to his house at all because i'm like so afraid you know because one day one of my friend's dog you know he bit it bit me on my leg so that's why i just you know i was i was safe though you know by chance somehow i saved myself it did not you know like bit of teeth on my legs but i got saved and that is what we are going to do in this video i am going to tell you some of the phobias that you guys can use in your everyday life and you know let people think that oh my god man where is he learning from okay like earlier you didn't know about it but now you know about it so you can tell people about it and then you can be good about it okay so that's what we're going to do about it so let's see here we will jump onto the first one here we have Acluophobia. Acluophobia. So here I have brought you some of the pronunciations also that is very needed. Okay. So next time whenever you're talking about the phobias, make sure that you call it in the right way. Okay. So that's why I have written here phobia. 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 Fine. So this is how you are going to say okay this is how you are going to pronounce this word phobia so acluophobia remember it acluophobia okay call it in a proper manner okay you need to learn this pronunciation first of all and then you can learn the word and then you can just move on with the talking okay you can tell anybody that i am acluophobic okay so one thing I'll tell you in the end, okay? So that is acluophobia. Acluophobia means fear of darkness and it happens to a lot of people in the world out there. You know, it's like uh, even sometimes I'm also like this, you know, I'm also acluophobic. Why? Because sometimes like, you know, whenever it's like too late at night and I gotta go to the rooftop or somewhere in the darkness, even in the another room to get the water bottle from my fridge, I just fear so much you know so that is how you can say fear of darkness okay got it next we have aerophobia aerophobia what is aerophobia aerophobia is means fear of flying okay fear of flying means it's not about that you know somebody is telling you to just go on the top of a building and then dive you know jump and then fly no it's not about that it's about sitting in a plane or chartered or helicopter chopper whatever whatever it is but you just fear of flying in that case you can say i'm a aerophobic i'm a aerophobic okay or i'm suffering from aerophobia so i can't travel with you in the plane okay on a plane sorry yeah i hope you know about it you, we use in for a personal transport and we use on for public transport okay so remember that always next we have icmo i Icomo, Icomophobia, Icomophobia. Remember this pronunciation, Icomophobia. I have told you the pronunciation of this basic word here, and rest of the pronunciations will be changed according to the uses of the words. Okay, so 
Eichema, eichemophobia. Here it is. You guys can say fear of needles or pointed objects. Pointed objects means knife, you know, and cutlass, that kind of things. Okay. Next, we have fear of needles. Needles. Oh my God. You know, when you go, like, you know, uh, right now, a lot of people, they are getting vaccinated and um, those needles, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid of it, by the way. You know, I just like when I just like it, you know, seriously, man, you know, when they when they do something like that, they put the needle inside my arm or muscle. I just oh, my God, that's looking great. I enjoy that. Oh. Is it a weird thing? It must be. Who cares about it? See, so here we have fear of needles or pointed objects. So in that case, you can say I am eichemophobia. I am I am suffering from eichemophobia or I am a eichemophobic. Fine. Next we have astrophobia. What is the meaning of astrophobia? It's written here fear of thunder and lightning. Okay, fear of thunder and lightning. You need to remember this. Okay, fear of thunder and lightning when it rains outside and you fear about it, you know, just like we see in a lot of Bollywood movies. And you know when uh, the actresses they say oh my god i'm so scared of this lightning and thunder and at that time you can say oh my god she is a astrophobic fine so in that case you can say this next we have sinophobia sinophobia what is the sinophobia fear of dogs oh my god that is very common in everywhere you know like everywhere it's very common a lot of people are suffering from this even me too you know me too hashtag me too you can say so that is sinophobia sinophobia is actually a very bad thing you know because whenever you go in into someone's home and you say it's written over there outside beware of dogs and you're like oh my god no 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 i ain't gonna go i ain't gonna go inside just like me you know i just do not prefer going to anybody's home where they have dogs though i would like to have a dog one day when i will i'll let you know Till then, you guys can just use these words, these phobias in your everyday communication. You can tell this to your friend, family, and as I always say, you can share it with your friends. Okay, and if you like all these phobias, and if you guys are having any one of these, then please let me know in the comment section below. Like the video if these are useful for you, or you can use them. Okay, and... Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care, stay home, stay safe, and please wear on your mask whenever it's needed. You are supposed to go outside, okay? See ya.